We are down to the final two pressure pack rounds of the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. And round number eight can be a little touch and go for these competitors. You got to find a way to focus and, and not get the cart ahead of the horse, so to speak, and let rounds nine and 10 take care of themselves. Yeah, exactly. And boy, round eight, there was a lot of shaking and baking going on before that round got over, but it still was good for some guys that needed to win. Yeah, it was fun to watch. And you start with Richie Champion, who's been so tough in the bareback riding. Came in number three in the average and number five in the world standings. Go around winner, 88 points. Yeah, tough go around too. These were the big, strong, kind of eliminating kind of horses. Richie, he has been st spot on all week. And a steer wrestling, Jason Floyd, not a part of that world championship race, but maybe going to give you a glimpse of the future right here. Yeah, a good future. I mean, he's the real deal. Just had to work real hard to get in. Now he's here. Co-champions in the team roping. You had uh, Clay Tryon and Jake Corkle, the first to throw a 4-1 on the board. Yeah, good run. And then they were followed right here by Luke Brown and Jake Long. These guys, they've been good, solid in the average. They're a player. Right or right, the 19-year-old steals the performance once again. 92 points. Go round winner. He's right there in that world championship race. Yeah, he's kind of down in the average. He's fifth place. There's four guys that have ridden all their Bronx. They won't go away, but how do you fix that? That way, 92 points. Another interesting round in the tie-down roping. Coach champs here as well. Corey Solomon was the first guy to do the 7-6. Looked good. I mean, Solomon, he held that lead through all of it until the last and final guy, Caleb Schmidt. Here he comes. He's going to match that run, and that was on a tough cap right there. The track record wasn't that good. That was a heck of a run. On the barrel racing side of things, Amberly Moore, when she leaves the barrels up, she makes money. She's about at $100,000. She's got another go-around win last night. She may leave town with 100. Look at this right there. I mean, I don't know how far a barrel can tip and then go back, but it didn't slow her down a bit. She won another go-around. And it was Canada night, so how about a Canadian bull rider getting the win in the bull riding? Jordan Hansen, I, you know, I've watched him a lot. I watched him up in the Northwest in the fall. He's a really good bull rider. He is getting some things rolling right here on a big rank bull. Ram Top Gun, the winner of this, whoever wins the most money in a single event, winds up with a new Ram truck, and right now Ryder Wright has surged to the lead with another go-around win. Look at that, almost $150,000 for Ryder Wright. We're down to our final two rounds. Round number nine coming your way tonight right here on CBS Sports Network.